So, mission. If you choose to do it, brother's keeper. Go find our brother. He is in the Panopticon. Gotta get back to the Panopticon. Uh, that is, looks like... Yeah, I think we want to be in the upper Panopticon. So I think we want to go there. Steal the fridge of the mailbox? I want to see what the fridge is about. It, it sounds like the fridge is like a weeping angel. You're not supposed to look at it. Also, Kay Walton. Hello. Thank you so much for that resub. 13 months. Drop them bears. Um, all right. Search for Dylan in the maximum security cells. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. We're on floor three. We can now fly. How high does that get us, though? I think we want to take this door, this this little thing here, to get us up higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is how we're supposed to do it. So ridiculous that we could fly thanks to a TV. <laughs> Here's a TV to help you fly. This game is so nutty. I love it. I love how ridiculous this is. It's like. I, I understand that it's like objects of power and they're cool and all, but a TV, a floppy disk. I'm just big. I'm basically just making sure I'm not missing anything because there's a lot of stuff you can miss in this game. Um, hey, it's the swan boat again. You guys remember the swan boat? Remember how we fought it? I remember how we fought it. What's this? Water cooler. Is that a crowbar? Crowbar? Okay. Oh no. Dylan. Oh no! So Alright, I wanna know what the other side is. Alright, so we saw that. What's over here? Hey, yeah! See, this is why you turn around. Good stuff everywhere. Is that a balloon? <gasps> If anybody's watched Hellier, balloons. It's the balloons. Balloons are here. It means something. Not to shit on Hellier. That's, it's, it's, it's an okay show. It's an okay show. It just wasn't the best. I, I had a lot of expectations for it. God, there's so much stuff in here. I want to get in there. You thought of it? Can you hear me? I can see that. Jesse. Okay. Hello. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here with us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. That's a trap. We must isolate him. No. Nope. I'm on my way. He sort of looks like Jesse, yeah. We need to get back. Okay. I have to see my brother. No, we're still... We're still only, um, clearance level five. What if CP, SCP met objects... The power? I, they're like the same thing, aren't they? They're basically the same thing. Let's look around. It's always good to check. So, okay. If you ever climb, you cannot float higher. Okay. 
Come on, get up there. That looks like that's the level cap. Okay. Yeah, I can get up here. But yeah, okay, if you fall, you can't... You can't do that. But you can slow fall. Okay. Dude, this whole area is weird. All of it is weird. <laughs> Things should be heavy! How did I hit it and make it go flying? Oh my god. I'm so strong. I'm stronger than I thought I was. Feng Shui is just a bit off. Just a bit. Ooh, these guys dead. <sighs> so yeah, our brother is clearly well. He's very well. Nothing wrong with him whatsoever. Not even a little bit wrong. He's completely well adjusted. Can go back into society. Um, not a harm to others. Aha! Alright, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Well, you know, this place is very hard to find. <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. If she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. <laughs> I want pizza! End of session. I want pizza! Done! I can do the fridge quest now. Okay, yes. Let's go to the fridge. But first, pizza. Tell Casper I want pizza. I want pizza. How's that song go? Uh, the Mary Kate and Ashley one. Try to remember how it went. Super ridiculous. Watch there be a bunch of people out here. Alright, let's make sure this fridge, fridge quest is doable. Um, okay, yeah, I think I can do it. Cool, let's go get this fridge. If this turns out to be yet another hard boss, I'm going to... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's just going to... It's going to be butts. Alright, so he's on the fourth floor, I believe? Oh, hi. Yeah, I don't want none. Don't want none. P I Z. Yes, it's P I Z Z A. Pizza. Alright. I'm back! Hey, what can I do? You're back! Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. These men. They Just, like, close one eye hey, and then close the other eye. Just focus. 
What's your name? Oh, right. My, my, my name's Philip, and... I We're wasting time. For a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. His eyes. His special eyes. All right, where's Langston? Langston is... Is he on the first floor? He must be on the first floor. It's just fast travel there. Ooh, I got more abilities. Yes. Uh, okay, so. Energy, I think, would be really good because we've been doing quite a lot of stuff. Launch enemies. We can launch enemies, which would be really neat. Shield three. Seize. Seize is great. Um, I kind of want to get this so I can see what's on this one. <gasps> Ground slam! Hell yeah! Slam to the ground. Okay, so upper panopticon. We want to go to the lower panopticon. This way. You guys didn't bring like checkers or anything, did you? Any active duty security personnel found engaging in non sanctioned leisure activities will be relieved of duty pending review, sir. Could have just said no. <laughs> There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. <laughs> you forgot about him? There's a lot oh, shit! On. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's... Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. Oh, shit! There. I left him there. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, People will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Dude, Being the face rigging in this game is so good. Procedure, he doesn't know us very well. Oh, we could actually ask him stuff. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. Okay, let's talk about rituals. Tell me about rituals. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. That's that's just rituals, guys. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power? I like how we're supposed items. to be in a hurry, but we're having a nice Think conversation of them like here. Storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Like me. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. <laughs> Knife rain. <laughs> Knife rain. Nice metaphor. <laughs> Knife rain, Did guys. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. <laughs> Thanks is back around. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. <laughs> From there, oh. I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila, supervisor. 
I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. All right. Fun times. That I'll was a good. Later, that was a good conversation. I'll be here. I like his uh, descriptions of altered items versus oops, knife rain. All right, let's go back upstairs to upper level. Okay, and then he's just like right over here. I'm coming, Hello? dude. Jesse, Jesse, <laughs> the fridge is doing something. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm reading about this employee incident. Incident in question occurred. Uh, blank was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming a private meal. A homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had changed his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau open appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior called multiple staff members present to become alarmed. S security was alerted uh, soon after Filson complied with security's command and desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee com commends a non-mandatory counseling session. Philip? You're fine. Philip? Find a way to <gasps> subdue the fridge. Oh, it ate Philip. If I look away. <laughs> what does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. It hurts. It hurts. Nevi, thank you so much for that resub. I can't get out, and I can't look away. Maybe I can cleanse it. Is that the former director? This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. What? What the fuck is in this fridge? What is in this fridge? Oh god. Oh, it moved. Oh, it's got arms! Oh! Oh god. Get the health, 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 get the health. It's ruining the floor. Get okay, rid of it quick. Woo. Oh, God. It hates me. Oh, <laughs> it mad! It mad! It's so mad! Oh, that's good health. Come on. Yes, you're dead. Get out of here. Wait. 
Whew. There's no black pyramid here. Yeah, this was a weird alien that lived in a fridge. Woof! The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Is that the hiss? Okay. Well, poor Philip. Rip Philip. Eaten by the fridge. So. I guess we talk to Langston again? Um, Panopticon? Is that electricians do when they fix the fridge? They go in, in they go in and they fix it. I have a cat. How'd it go? Where's Philip? He did. Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Poor Philip. You left him in there for Never a day! The fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What I just did. Do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The, the astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others. Ooh, for you. I want to do this. Yes. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. Cool. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Neat. So. I'd love if you gave me more, um, you know, more, uh, more clearance levels. I would like that. I would like that very much. Is there something I didn't, that I missed? Um, oh, okay. Oh yeah, we never read the, uh, the procedures for the anchor, right? Trotum style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock, surface and rusted in places, weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at the precise point in, re in relation to the item, specifically uh, 20 feet horizontal feet. I don't know. Uh, first Ranger class was dropped in the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at 3 a.m. EST after 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere. Blank's oxygen line was cut and the sphere's board was unsur unseen force all agents in the room during uh something entry this year experienced vomiting vertigo and loss of fingernails within an hour and one other ranger was declared mia presumed dead uh refrigerator an arctic queen brand electric refrigerator model in the 1960s no cooling functionality the door is decorated with crayons illustrations by that child that we saw earlier or read about earlier the illustrations cannot be removed by the item all attempts have failed the paper cannot be burned or torn the item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in an apartment rented by a na man named Blank. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse and damaging uh, Mr. Blank, who was also out of the building at the time collapse, retained ownership of the item until 1974 when the Bureau purchased the item through the false identity. Okay. Hmm. Sort of check these off. I don't like saying this hot like this, uh, this little, this is new. Okay, so I kind of want to do these ones. I want to track these things. I think that sounds really fun. Cleanse and contains the Japanese paper lantern. Cleanse and contains the traffic light. Cleanse and contains the head and chair and cleanse the moving letters. All right, so one's in here. What do you think that is? C 
steel threshold. Okay. What do you think these are? Whoa! We haven't been over here. Look, there's a Christmas tree. This one's a globe. Neat. We've never been to the archives, have we? The paper lantern was interesting? It was. Um, we read about it. It was like a... They uh, create like nostalgia. Club. Unless you hook me right away, it began the visceral uh, dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named the Fix. As an avid horror fan, I love how the story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, but a little off. The characters even comment on it, saying how their lives fell out of control as if they were being programmed, perform the same empty actions over and over. Very meta. And I love the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy who ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, it's interesting read. I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices from the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. I love this book club. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's that's something you like to see. Oh god. Oh god, he had his jaw rip. Gross. The dude has his jaw ripped. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's that's real good. That's real good. You like you like that's that's something you want to see, right? Um. Oh, is it you? Yeah, it's just you. It's fine. We're not going to be dealing with you right now. I'm looking around. Um, hmm. Clearance level six again. Oh, there's also his here, too. Great. Okay. Well, they can fight each other. God, it's dark. What's this? Altered behavior. Altered item behavior changes. Recently, there has been some alarming changes in behavior of altered effects and altered items in the Panopticon. The refrigerator and the TV have become a much more aggressive with entirely new effects manifesting for no discernible reason. The items have been investigated for updated containment procedures to counter these new effects with one successfully discovered to be contained by constant visual contact. But this development is worrying. What if the altered item undergoes this behavioral change? We need to find out why this is happening. What is changing? Handling handling these altered items have also resulted in numerous Panopticon staff being killed. I would say they've gone to the astral plane, but they aren't objects of power. Not one of them has come back. This, plus the uptick in astronauts not returning from their dives, has me wondering what the hell is going on. Is anyone looking into this? Is there any plan? Okay. Yeah. That's what I needed in this time. Some really soothing music. Oh, hi, you're here. Okay.
sector. Um, I can go in here. Sweet. Okay. Anything in here? giant creature to pop out of the floor. <laughs> Alright. Where the hell is this paper lantern? S Hello, excuse me. I would like paper lantern, please. Oh, man. <laughs> Spooky items. Spookity items. Can't go that way. Okay, that's the archives again. We could go to the archives again. I don't think that's where we want to go, though. There's the pram. The smoking pram. It's all smoky. You're right about that one. Okay. Do 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 do. do. Boop. Okay. Let's go up to level three. So I feel like it just takes up to level four, right? Yeah, it just takes us to level four. We've already been up there. That's where um, Dylan was. Let's see what level three is about. Oh, Anna! You missed it. I got spooked. I got so spooked. What's that? Surfboard? Hey! I got spooked! I got spooked by, I think, one of the creatures that we named uh, after you. It spooked me hard. And now I can fly, too. I can also fly. I'm, I'm pretty badass. I'm just a badass lady who can fly. about you guys. Totally fly, Anna. Cause I'm just the coolest. Uh, that was the TV, right? Oh, there's the light. That there's a light. Be one of the missing ones. I I bet you this is a red light, green light. Yeah, we have to play a game of red light, green light with it. Okay. Wait, how did I get back here? Okay. 
can't move. Red light, green light. Oh, come on. Let's go into the TV room. Either it's red light, green light, or it's American Gladiators. Why can't it be both? What? I didn't move! Crap, okay. I'm gonna get to you. Hi. Touch you. Unless this gate dog I don't need to worry about. Oof, all right. Traffic light procedures. A traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically on top of e uh, each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, green. A popular children's game is believed to be integral into the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantly located to a distance from, it looked like 40 feet, 50 feet. Theories that uh, the item is shifting people to the former timeline or parallel universe has been explored and dismissed. The item was discovered after street light in an intersection near an elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the bureau. The case, the item was contained and a gas leak was blamed for its confusion. You're scorned? Don't be scorned, don't do it. Okay, so we found one. Uh, there's also a paper lantern in the same area. It's supposed to feel people with nostalgia. Intense nostalgia. If we can use that on um, Dylan, maybe we can calm him down. Oh, go away. You see your face. I don't want to deal with you guys. Okay, so level five is the top level that we we're just at. I want to get to level six. It doesn't seem like there's a really easy way to get up to level six though. Maybe from here? No? Hmm. Where could this paper lantern be? Oh, it's not here. Oh, well, the doy. Okay. Let's go somewhere else then. Um. We don't want to go that way. So let's go back to one of the save points. 